Okay. Um, I re- read another bit then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this part is a shortish bit about uh, yeah. So we sort of are also kind of lying to each other to impress each other in a way. Right. So he pretends that he is this you know champion drummer, whereas he had only you know once drummed out something in college. Um, and I've said that. Unlike Vijay's pretense of being some sort of a champion solo drummer at college in a lame bit to impress me, I had always let him see the real me, take it or leave it types. The only time I had stretched the truth slightly was one morning when he said that he had to go out for a haircut. Since we were at that happy lover stage where every minute apart is seen as a minute wasted, I told him that I was great at cutting people's hair. <laughs> really? He asked and I replied that I had been quite the lady in demand when it came to haircuts in my earlier days. What I omitted to mention to him was that I had been in demand one day when I was 10 years old and that it was only my mother who was demanding to know where I was hiding after a rather unfortunate haircut that I had given my younger sister. <laughs> the result was somewhat rather uneven although I, I stoutly maintained that I had intended it that way and that I quite liked it. As I crouched there in the cupboard of my room listening to my little sister's inconsolable wailing and my mother shouted for me, I had understood even at that early age that I was destined to be something of a misunderstood genius. <laughs> In any case, after hearing about my supposed expertise with the scissors, which I eagerly asked me to give him a cool haircut, I said with an appealing combination of generosity and modesty, sure, why not? <laughs> he sat on a tall stool in the bathroom and I assumed a professional stance behind him. He was gazing into the mirror, so I didn't dare to touch the front much. But I snipped away happily at the back, pausing to admire the effect now and then. I gave him an attractive series of about five steps in the hair on the back of his head. He couldn't see it, but when he reached back to touch it, he felt, he said it felt nice, and that he had never had this kind of haircut before. He went happily to office the next day, clearly expecting some admiration for his new haircut. But the general reaction was summed up for him by an unnecessarily outspoken colleague, who informed him that it looked as if kisi billi ne noch noch ke baal Is this true, Vijay? 